Hi everyone, it's me Mario at Life Saving Systems. We're going to do a maintenance video on how to change the safety straps on a 420 rescue seat. Easy? You bet. First thing, let's get straight, is what tools you're going to need. You're going to need a hammer. You have to love a job with a hammer. You're going to need a 7 16th or size 11 ratchet and a wrench for the other side. You're going to need a block. Could be a block of wood, a cut 2 by 4 I've got a piece of steel here covered. Uh, but uh, anything will work. Just a spacer to space this thing up off the table when you lay it down. And you're going to need a calibrated torque wrench uh, on final assembly. You're also going to need your replacement kit which is the 420SK. It's all the parts you need to replace the safety straps. It's two safety straps, of course, and all the hardware. A cover, a set of bolts, and locking nuts, and these spacers, uh, which are locally manufactured. They're probably going to be fine when you pull the old ones out, but they're inexpensive, and you're replacing the safety strap. Let's replace all the hardware just the same. That's what we need to get started. Let's go. Now, first thing is taking the old ones off. Pretty straightforward. Uh, remove the straps and take your wrench and start pulling those things out. I'm not going to make you watch all of this. And take that bad boy off of there. Now, here is where you're going to need your hammer one of the times. And you just kind of lightly get mad at these things. They punch through. Out the other side. And run. Now we can take our cover off. To get the cover off, you got to find where it's tied on, and it's just going to be a series of knots. There it is. I think, I thought. Not really. Anywhere. There it is. It's this string. Now you can, you know, get mad at it and cut it if you want, but you might want to take the time. Uh, it's just a series of overhand knots to undo it. That's it. It's been really easy so far. And then off the cover comes out with the old. All right, so I know what you're thinking. I've got the, why don't I just put the straps back on and the, cover, and the new cover back on the straps now? Well, it's because it's the safety straps. And let's go ahead and look at the whole device while we've got it apart. You want to do an inspection. So take the foam off, you take the little top piece off, and you think, well, I'll just pull this. You can't. You can't pull this thing right off. Well, you can, but you're going to tear up your foam. Because this is what it looks like. You've got these spacers in here. And uh, you could muscle it around there, but you're probably going to tear your foam up. So we've got to get the spacers out. This isn't hard. You press on them, and they come out. Yeah, in all likelihood, they'll be fine, but if they're you know, salt water contaminated or they're dirty or uh, uh, in any way deteriorated, uh, you'll want to replace them. So they're very inexpensive. We'll just replace them anyway. It's just steel tube. And then the cover will come off. Pretty easy. Now you'll do a quick inspection. Look inside to make sure we don't have any deterioration, any cracks, any de deformation. Uh, these are seriously overbuilt devices. There's probably not going to be anything wrong, but have a look. If you have any sus, if, if there's anything suspected, if you have any cracks that you suspect, then you can send it to NDT. Uh, but it's, it's a seriously overbuilt device. Just have a look at it. Everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead with my cover replacement. Now. It would be really easy, if my foam is still good, just use the existing foam. The foam's not part of the kit, because you really don't want to put on new foam if you don't have to. I'm going to show you why by putting on new foam. It's a lot easier without the new foam, but we'll have a look. So we'll pretend this is bad, and I've got to put on new foam. Here's the new foam. Notice the not nicely already made, you know, indents. So, putting on the new foam. Around it goes, you want to line the holes up with the, you know, other holes. Down this goes, right about 
to there. To get these to line up right, you line up. So there's the space in there for the new foam, which really just jams in there like you mean it. That's it. And now starts the arduous task of putting in new spacers and putting on the straps and why we're on our fourth filming in this. Okay. I take my screwdriver. That one lines up pretty well. I found the hole on the other side. Now I will make sure I don't chew up my foam. And I get... There we go. Screwdriver's through there. Now, I use that as a guide to put in my new spacer. And I, it's not terribly difficult. This is the easy part of the hard part. Push that through. You use the screwdriver to line up the spacer on the other side. I got it. And then you just center that thing up. You're trying to go for this, right? Inside the foam here. Center it up. That's good, and then we'll do it again. Now that you've done that nice work, got it all together, now you put on your new cover. It really only goes on one way, it's the way it's lined up. Cover over, feed it down, try to keep it aligned because it will twist on you if you're not careful. Now, my, the production crew that makes these things is laughing at me because they do this whole thing in about four minutes. I'm on my fourth try. Pull that down, and you'll see the holes line up in there. Or you should. Okay. That's it. That goes over here. And you don't want to tie it up yet. I don't need to do that yet. That can stay loose. You're going to want it. All right, so now we're ready to put on the new safety straps. You take your strap, you're gonna put it on the right side as you're facing the device with the D-ring facing away. But we've gotta keep everything lined up in there. So this is where you take your screwdriver, line it up. If you've done it right so far, you can see right through there. And not push up. Your spacer. There we are. There we go. Can you take your new bolt? Top or bottom, whichever one you're feeling luckiest about. Follow that screwdriver back through there. Keeping it lined up. You'll find it. First time after my fourth try. Yep. The other one. That lined up. Follow it through. Be very careful not to push on the end of the spacer. Got it. And then this is where a handy block comes in. This is where things stop being easy right here, folks. So lay this thing down so your block is sitting right here, holding those two bolts in place. Just lay it over and you're good. And then, you just gotta align and press down those bolts through the top, or the other side of the cover. <coughs> you take your other strap, 
As you're facing it, D ring facing away on the right. Press down. Get mad. If you're not mad at it, it doesn't work as well. So you really gotta want it. If it's new foam, if it's old foam, you're done already. You're already sitting down. There we go. And then, there we go. Really, there might have to be some anger involved for it to work. Whoa, there we go. You get those started. Just started on there. So they hold it in place. And again, my guys are laughing at me. Just get it started. Once you've got it started, you can stand it back up. And you should be good to go to finish up. All right, now just tighten them down. And what we're going to go for is 65 inch pounds. Now, the foam is going to keep compressing and keep compressing until you get to the spacers. My elbows usually calibrate it to about 60. So let's see how close I get. That's, I'm just starting, that's about 60. Now you take your calibrated torque wrench, which if stored properly is set to zero, it is. I'm going to set it to 65 inch pounds. See how close that was. Uh, it goes at 55. Okay, maybe 45. All right, I wasn't even close. There it went. 65. Snug the other one to 65. It was not even close. Sixty-five inch pounds. Now your straps are properly attached. From here, now we can tighten up our cover. Hard part's over. Just make sure it's down, screw it down around, just pull it tight. How tight? No torque on this, just, you know, tight. And then, start with a square. I start with a square. And then a series of overhand knots just to lock it up. Or you can do a series of square knots. It's hard to get this one wrong. Just Tie it up. As long as you start and end with a square knot, your life's going to be good here. So one more. And I will square that one. And then tuck that up under. And that's it. Just stow the straps and we're done. Stowing the straps is easy. You just accordion fold this thing. With the straps full extended. Down in the pocket. With the Velcro on the pocket. Attached to the Velcro on the safety strap. Zip it up. That's stowed. Do the other side. That is how you replace the safety straps on a 420 rescue seat. If you have any questions for us, want to see another video, want to see us teach you how to do something else, have any questions at all, contact us, call us, email us. 
uh, go on the website or go to support.lifesavingsystems.com. Thanks for watching. Take four out.